Good morning, good day, and good night wherever you may be. I hope everyone is doing well. I use multiple sclerosis, MS, and other neurological disorders a lot on here because ataxia is so rare. I reference MS a lot because I'm somewhat familiar with it since my mother has had it most, 90%, of her life. I know MS is difficult, but think of MS times 10 and that is ataxia. Like my previous video, link in the description, balance exercises always need to be revisited. This is Art Thomas, and I have acquired ataxia, welcome or welcome back to living with ataxia. In a previous video, I demonstrated some balance exercises, link in the description, you can do and they will help. Depending on your condition, the exercises, as demonstrated, might need to be modified. Again, like always, find a corner with walls around you to prevent falling. This is your standard parallel feet balance stance or in normal terms have your feet side by side in balance for a period of time in this position. This stance will challenge the cerebellum and increase your balance. By having your feet closer and closer together really challenges your balance. You could feel wobbly at first this is why you want walls around you. It's okay to feel unsteady. Just stay patient and do it on a regular basis. Try to challenge yourself week to week. For example, you might be able to hold this stance for 10 seconds. The following week, try 15 seconds. Once you get comfortable with the first balance exercise, try the same stance but with your arms out in front of you, as demonstrated. Doing this provides another layer of complexity and will increase your balance further. At first it will feel very similar to the standard parallel feet balance stance to where you will feel unsteady or wobbly at first. This, the previous exercise, and the following exercise increase the strength in your hips. All these exercises are very beneficial for the small muscles around your feet, hips, and core. Always remember the stronger your core the better balance you will have. When you're even more comfortable do the same exercise as before but close your eyes as demonstrated. This might be simple for someone not suffering from any neurological issue, but it's extremely difficult if you do. Definitely ensure you are in a corner with walls around you because when having your eyes closed you are relying on your other senses to keep your balance. Eyes are like gauges for your mind and body. All of a sudden you have taken them away. It forces your body to rely on its other senses. Having your eyes closed is the final step to any balance exercise. I wanted to revisit some of the balance exercises as demonstrated because having good balance is a foundation to other exercises. If you don't have good balance it's very difficult to do other exercises. I dropped some of these exercises because I thought I mastered them. Well since I didn't revisit them I'm nowhere near to where I was at. Don't make the same mistake as me, revisit as often as you can. Please help this content get out there because most people including some doctors do not know anything about ataxia. Ataxia is the number one disease that no one has heard about. This channel will also help people with other neurological disorders or disabilities. Even these exercises demonstrate a foundation for anyone. Help bring awareness to ataxia, which is extremely rare, by pressing that like button, sharing this video, subscribing to the channel, and click that bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. It's all free and thank you.